All right. So the name of this book is uh, what? In New Inside into IELTS. Uh, it's good that most of you have the book. <laughs> Those who don't don't have the book can share. But uh, I want to review basically our the main points of the book right after the first tutorial we had on uh, the overall golden rules of the listening section of our IELTS test, right? So you see the first unit is about orienting yourself to the text. What is it? Making yourself familiar with the text. That's what it means, orienting yourself. You should be familiar with the text. Who are the speakers? Who are they? Why are they speaking, right? So, how would they, you know this? You'll, we talked about it. you first read, right? Read the questions. So you look at the questions and then you think about the speakers. There's a professor and a student. You know, there are two friends. Uh, a man and his wife. Two, two guys who accidentally meet. Somebody in a college. Um, in order to understand what people are saying, it helps to know what their relationship is to each other and why they are speaking. Does it help to know the relationship between people? Sometimes it does. Professor, students, friend, friend, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. The language they use will depend on this relationship and the situation. Knowing these helps us to anticipate, to expect, to, to predict what the speakers are going to talk about. Yes? So basically, if you know who's talking, to whom, it tells us something about the level of speech and what's going on. So that's basically the first thing, uh, first tip for the unit one of this book. There were some test tips we reviewed yesterday, such as uh, all questions like forms, uh, uh, notes and summaries, the diagrams, flowcharts and sentences, uh, all, all the completion questions must be answered using three words or less. The instructions are, we talked about what yesterday? The word limit. So, so far a couple of points here. The unit one is one, know the speakers, the speakers. Uh, this is uh, number two. Uh, notice the word limit. And let's go to number three. This is unit one. The word limit, usually less than three. Notes are not complete sentences and are not, all, not all, do not always contain articles or full uh, verb forms. All right. That was a good tip too. Unit one is over. Yes? Notes are not complete sentences. There's no four in unit one. So we had covered this basically in all our the golden rules. So far, nothing new. And you can see here, I want to show you, because you'll have the video. So this is unit one, orienting yourself to the text, and basically goes on. We have the pictures here. Um, like who is who? It, it, it's asking you, well. Who is this guy? Who is that girl? Try to guess. These are some pictures for you to guess. This is a situation we talked about it in a hotel. This is a situation where somebody's asking for directions. This is a situation where someone is uh, going to um, maybe you guys guess that maybe father and daughter, uh, maybe boss and employee. Actually, that was the guest and the employee, and she doesn't look happy, so the boss wants to reprimand her. And then uh, to, to maybe 
the boss is reprimanding her. I'm like, and then the next one is somebody's trying to work with a washing machine, right? And the washing machine, the problem with the washing machine is there's a problem. Um, and then in this picture, we have this uh, woman who's actually receiving a ticket. She got a ticket, uh, a traffic ticket from and from a policeman, a police officer. Um, the police officer gave her a ticket, maybe because of parking. And then the next one is, um, it's all about people sitting in. You can see that it's, uh, yeah, the situation is, well, we have someone sitting in, um, what you might call it, uh, it's, it's like a panel of experts. We can see that. So he, these are the pictures. One more time. The first one is a? Someone at the reception at a hotel. Second one, someone asking for directions. The third one is a boss and employee. Um, possibly, um, maybe, maybe she's done something wrong. And, uh, next one is someone uh, checking out the washing machine. Maybe something's wrong with that. And the next one is a police officer giving somebody a ticket. And the next one is a panel of experts. Now. What, why is this important to know this? Because, uh, why is it important to know this? Um, if, if I know, look, there is no recording yet. But if I know the conversation is between um, a police officer and someone who got a ticket, before, it's like when you want to take a test, you know what it's going to be about roughly or if you have no idea you're blank and you just walk into the session it's always good to be prepared right so when you orient yourself to the text you know the speakers you um, you know what to expect it's all about helping you with your concentration with what to expect with kind what kind of language you're going to hear when I see an officer and a ticket it's most probably an officer giving someone a ticket and she's arguing, oh, uh, I didn't know I was not supposed to park here, and the, the police officer. So they are not going to put some unusual language there. The language there will be completely normal, and uh, well, the language that you can expect between a police officer and someone getting a ticket, right? And maybe the person is going to say, oh, so where should I park? I didn't know I was not supposed to park here. Uh, could you please, uh, what, write off part of it? Oh, that's too much. What, and so on and so forth. And like the first one, when you see a receptionist, a receptionist and someone at the hotel, you see, uh, the, the the conversation will be about booking rooms or checking out, checking in, things like that. So on and so forth, right? Now, do you see these pictures at IELTS? Not necessarily. And most of the time, there's no picture, not no. to my recollection. The pictures are just trying to make, because you have to visualize conversations, right? What do you do? Visualize conversations. The British write it with S. Visualize the conversations. So you have to visualize the conversations. What does that mean? It means when you see a conversation, all this happens within a very, very short span of time in your mind. In an infinitesimal fraction of a second, a very short time, you have to, it's, it's good for you to visualize the dialogue. Put this in some sort of uh, picture context inside your head. You should see the images, right? So this is like really fast. So when you see how it's about a ticket and a policeman, you all of a sudden see the pictures in your mind, not uh, in IELTS itself. So this kind of helps you predict what you're going to hear. IELTS is mostly about being ready and concentrating and predicting and guessing. But you shouldn't remember, one thing that's important is you shouldn't push the envelope on guessing. You shouldn't be over guessing. Because some people guess and guess and they make their own conclusions and they finish and they answer. They don't even need the recording. That's bad. So you do have your guesses, but don't push the guess. Like, oh, that's it. 
No, what I say is right. My guess is right. Then, of course, we had uh, some techniques on how to do this. So this was unit one of our new insight into IELTS.